Hi, uh, today I'm talking about how to retrofit central locking onto an old car. In this case, it's a classic car, Triumph Stag. Uh, I fitted central locking on here. I'll just show you how you do it. So I'm not going to go into all of the details of the central locking control unit, which you can get from eBay. Uh, it's just a matter of wiring it up according to the instructions. Uh, the tricky bit is how to interface into the doors. Uh, so what you need is these universal central locking motors. Uh, which has a little motor that pushes this spindle in and out depending on the direction the voltage applied to its input. Uh, so on this Triumph Stag there's a sweet little spot for installing this motor and you can see the two screws here is where I've mounted it behind this piece of metal which you might just see it's in there and the kit comes with a bit of rod that just goes through the end then you cut it to size and in this case this is the rod goes up to this part of the lock on the stag this is the original bar that came from the opening handle inside so you need to locate that on your car this should apply to any or well, most classic cars and then it's just a matter of flipping off this piece of uh, plastic uh, you push it to one side and then that then allows the rod to come out from the back and um, refitting is just a reverse operation in fact this old rod I think went in from the front this new one's going from the back um, then you just need to um, drill some holes um, roughly mark it up from this side of the metal where you think it's going to go and uh, wire it up to your control unit most of these kits come with a remote control fob so once it's all wired up, push a screwdriver through the lock to imitate you shutting the door. And then before you actually shut the door for real, test out that your solenoid is working correctly and is moving the full way. Test the outside handle is either locked or unlocked. So that's how you would retrofit a uh, central locking solenoid, one of these, onto an old classic car. Uh, you need to find a spot such that it clears the window coming down this is an electric window um, that spot on the stag is absolutely fine clears the window There's probably a few spots around here you can put it uh, on other cars that use a similar sort of electric solenoids for doing central locking such as uh, i think we had a renault clear there was a similar uh, locking system probably a lot of cars um, you can uh, retrofit these in the case of a sticking central locking system and in fact this lock although it could do with lubricating is a little bit sticky so i will lubricate it up um, but just to stop it getting sticky again in the future what i'm going to do is double up on one of these so it's a, a quick fix for having um, a stronger central locking system so i'm going to have another one the other side is um, metal on the door uh, so twice the force moving on this piece of metal because it's quite stiff to, to move and that should stop the central locking getting sticky um, because sometimes you have to uh, lock and unlock a few times to get it to work and I've done that before on other cars and I've even seen a tip for doing that on modern locks like on uh, Land Rover Freelander um, for supplementing or replacing the electric motor that's built into the door lock so you can even do it on modern cars as well uh, these um, central locking solenoids are only about 10 or 15 pounds on eBay and you just need to find a convenient place to mount the motor and a place to join the metal bar up to your original activating rods or levers. Uh, they also come with these little blocks for connecting the rod uh, onto another piece of rod so it slides through there, clamps on there, uh, so quite universal. So just a quick video on uh, basically how to retrofit central locking onto a classic car hopefully you can see how that can be done um, but also how to um, overcome sticky central locking units on other cars and that's it all wired in uh, where you're wiring into existing wiring of course you have to test it to make sure you've got it the right way around uh, try it both ways see which ways uh, works for locking and unlocking um, where i've doubled up the solenoid here's a little connector block clamped onto the rod and then we just test it and 
and as you can see it works fine and here's a quick little add-on for how to add central locking onto your boot uh, so here's that central locking motor again been here quite a few years the rubber's perishing a little bit but ignoring that dead easy way to fix central locking or make a, a boot lock lock is uh, to drill a hole through the side of the lock so you see here this piece of plastic goes down into this piece of metal so all we've got to do is have the rod poking through from the side such that when we lock it the rod pokes through sticks in that hole in the plastic and there's no way that boot is then opening and you can see I've added that tiny little bit of rubber block just to make sure that the rod doesn't fall out of the metal the metal being quite thin dead easy quick to fit and makes your boot secure and of course you wire the central locking motor up to the same wiring as your doors good luck with yours and thanks for watching bye